because there's every chance that he could finish on the black if he gets the swerve correct but he's looked at that red and it's the very difficult one into the right corner well maybe did he just play to hide that cue ball well he certainly covered it that's for sure well, I think he definitely took the pot on for once was well away to the mark he's actually been quite fortunate There is one red that Sean can cut in past that red that's over the pocket, but that one there, if he cut that across, but I, I don't think it would uh, go in off the other red. He's looked at that. I think that's the one he's decided on, the one I had the circle in. Will it go in off the other red? Will he knock the other red in? Oh! Well, look at the cue ball, though. Have a look at the cue ball. I'm not sure if he can get enough side on this to come off one cushion and pot that red that's over the pocket. I don't know if he can do that. He's tried, he's tried, and he's got it. Yeah, lots of right hand side. <coughs> if he just puts the red a little bit thinner, it would be nice low in the black. But this is still potable. Nope. Ronnie Sullivan won. Oh, if he's covered that red to the left corner, he's very fortunate. Possibly the red goes by, by the black. Yeah, he'd like to pot this directly into the pocket, but it could go in off the black. And I'm just looking, he would still be on the pink if he took this on and went in off the black. But if he pots it cleanly, the black's there. But if it goes in off, the black, he can still get position. And he potted it cleanly. Yeah. And bridging over the green. That was terrific queuing from Sean Murphy there. I mean, the green was very awkward. Eight. Sixteen. Seventeen. He's lost 17. a little bit of focus there. He, he, he was a bit disappointed with the way he left himself on the pink because he was having to go away from the reds, but he just took his eye off that pot there. And if this is a plant, and it looks as if it can be made, it's, let's see, it's just going slightly to the right side of the pocket, but they're close together, so he can make it into a plant. Uh, 
And if this plant goes in, Sean might just have played his last shot in this year's World Championship. Well, he's taken the single red. And now he's got an angle on the pink to develop the reds if he wishes. Yeah, the only thing he's got to avoid is the gap between the two sets of three reds. Any contact, you think it's frame and match over. Seven. A little bit surprised he played for this red. This is not straightforward to get on a colour. Eight. And he's not in the pink. Just got to avoid the green and the brown to get back up to those reds. This is the key shot coming up. Pot on the blue is pretty straightforward. It's just making sure he avoids contact on one of the bulk colours. He went between yellow and brown, but same result. And this looks pretty good. Or is it going to run a bit too far? I think he's okay. He's got the red to the middle pocket. 13. A strange shot. I thought he could have gone in between green and brown. He just brought the cube up a straight line. He had a choice of two or three reds to the left corner, but he's still all right. 14. Still a match winning opportunity now. <laughs> Though straight in the black is no good. Screw off the cushion for a red to right middle. <coughs> Twenty-two. Well, he's not on the pink. That was a little bit careless, and uh, now he's got to not only pot the blue, but leave the two reds. It's just by his hand there. Screw back for those. Mm. No. That's amazing. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 22. Usually someone like Ronnie, the top players, they have no problem closing a match out, but it shows you even they can feel the pressure at the end of a match. Oh, Sean, that's a couple that you can't believe he's missed. Yeah, it looks like that kick that he got in the last frame has sapped any remaining belief that Sean had of winning this match. shot now. The joint favourites before the start of this year's Betfred World Championship, Mark Selby and Judd Trump. 12. Judd is no longer here. Rory McLeod yeah. defeated yeah. him. <laughs> Just wonder the way Ronnie's performed here against Sean Murphy. If the bookies don't make him favourite, 
because it, he has looked very focused and he's played very well against Sean. It was going to be a tough, tough match 20. for Ronnie. And even that red one, on the cushion, he made it look very easy. And what a mouth-watering match he has in the next round. The winner of Ding Zhongwei or Liang Wenbo. There'll be at least 150 million people watching that one, regardless of who gets through, because Ronnie is as popular out there as the Chinese players are. 33. That match will start on Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, Ronnie going about his business here. Just polishing off the colours. 42. Sean Murphy, the gentleman that he is, will come forward and congratulate Ronnie. 48. There was a little bit of needle in this match, but Sean is the perfect gentleman. But in the end, Ronnie was just a little bit too good. Very solid performance from the five times world champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And in the end, I suppose you'd have to say, it was a comfortable victory. He beats the former champion, Sean Murphy, by 13 frames to seven.